Hello, my name is Kendall Harris and I'm a CPA here at Sykes & Company. We know that as a pharmacy owner, you are extremely busy. Therefore, thank you for taking a few moments to watch this video. That way, when you connect with one of my team members for the first time, you can do so without technical difficulties. So let's go ahead and get started and discuss how to connect to Microsoft Teams for a meeting for the first time. The first step to joining a Teams meeting is locating the invitation. This will be sent to your email that looks like the one that's on the screen via a link. You'll have the option to add this invitation to your calendar. That way you can be alerted before the meeting. Click the link in the body of the email to join the meeting. There are three separate options on how to join the meeting. The first is to download the Teams app. Uh, this requires a little bit more space on your computer and time to download, so we don't recommend that option. The second is to join using a browser. This doesn't require any installation and you can link to it very quickly. And the third option is to use the Teams app. If you've used Teams in the past on your computer and you're familiar with Teams, you can click here. You'll be invited to the meeting as a guest. For this example, we're going to continue using the browser. The video feature is supported by Chrome, so you will need Chrome if you use this feature. You'll see here the option to add your name. And then next are some other options. We have control over your camera. Do you want to join the meeting with your camera on or off initially? Uh, to join with your microphone on or off. Now click join now. So now I'm going to initiate the meeting from my other computer. And the two degrees on the wall represents your Sykes and Company's team uh, members. And this is what you would see from their screen. And in the bottom right corner, this is what they would see of you in your screen. So a few options to go through. First, we can turn the camera on or off, depending on what's going on. You may or may not want to be seen. Next you have the ability to mute and unmute your computer. If you're collaborating with a Sykes & Company's team member, uh, looking at a QuickBooks file or logging into a certain process, they might ask you to share your screen. You'll click on this screen and you can choose what window to share. Another cool feature is the fact that a Sykes & Company team member will be able to share their screen with you. For example, I can share the information from QuickBooks in case we were working together and I wanted to explain to you something that we saw. We could collaborate at the same time. Last, uh, you can see which participants have already joined the meeting. So once the meeting has been concluded, we can end the meeting by hanging up. So what will you need for your first meeting? Let's go over some hardware items. First off, it'll be good for you to have a computer. There is applications that you can use for your phone to join a Microsoft Teams meeting. However, if we're sharing screens or conferencing with you face to face, a cell phone might not have the ability or you might not be able to view clearly what we're discussing. So it's preferred that you have a computer. Next, uh, if you're going to be in an area that you foresee is going to be noisy or with others that you don't want them to hear any of your financial information for, it would be good to have a headset. Or if you're in a rush, something simple like these iPhone headset can do the trick. Last, for us to be able to see your face while we conference, we need some kind of camera. 
most laptops come standard with webcams, but if you're on a PC, it might be a good idea to invest in a webcam that you can get on Amazon. If you're looking for a recommendation of what webcam to get, reach out to your staff in charge accountant and we can send you some recommendations. Thank you again for taking the time to watch the video. I hope your meeting with Sykes and Company goes well. I wish I could stick around and talk more about the features, but actually, I have a Teams meeting to attend right now.